World Record Prep Week 2 Legs. So, this week I started out with some front squats. I'm just looking to build some base strength, some, uh, some base volume. I'm not really looking to strain myself too hard. I want to keep my body really healthy at this point. I'm going to have nine weeks of training in total leading up to this attempt. And, uh, you know, week two is still quite early in the training program. I questioned even going up to 305, but I figured 305 for sets of five, it's going to be perfectly fine. My only concern this early in the training cycle is just making sure that my body stays healthy. I don't want to be fighting any kind of uh, nagging injury or uh, inflammation of any kind. Uh, and that's that's my primary concern at this point. So after front squats, I went over and did some deadlifts. That'll be showing up in just a minute. I have adopted a wider deadlift form, and in the coming weeks, that'll become a little bit more evident as to why. But uh, <clears throat> I currently find that pretty comfortable. I started adding some blocks underneath my deadlifts. Um, this is to make up for the slack that is generated when I'm wearing straps. And I want to make sure that I'm getting that full range of motion. I plan to work up to a moderate weight at some point. But again, just went up to 405 on these deadlifts. Not looking to go super heavy. Uh, just, just really waking the body back up. Getting some good training. Front squats hit the quads. Backs or deadlifts are going to hit the whole posterior chain. And then... Uh, after this, I went on to some quarter front squats, which I really like to utilize, especially for any kind of overhead prep. It is largely to get the body used to handling a heavy weight in the front position, but especially with this axle, I'm not used to having zero whip on a bar. And so I really need to get used to that. I'm used to there being this small pocket of lightness at the bottom of the movement and there's not because there's no flex in the bar. So I'm also having to do a little bit of drills to figure out where I land in that split jerk. But as I polish that up, it is going to look prettier and prettier. And, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with today overall. So that's about all I have for you guys today. Again, that Axle Clean and Press world record attempt is going to be taking place on ESPN on April 22nd, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be 4 to 6 p.m. West Coast time. And if you haven't seen it already, check out the Basics of Strongman playlist. That is for people who are just looking to get into strongman competition or just strongman training for the the functional sake of it becoming stronger, building a stronger body. Strongman is for everybody. And if you have not seen the Strongman Theory playlist or series, that is a series that is more targeted for people who are looking to specifically compete and excel in the sport of Strongman. It covers a lot about point distributions, training styles, the way to structure your training optimally to get the best results. And I'm excited to share that information with the community as my competitive career is most likely coming to an end. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you like it and uh, want to share it, feel free to do that. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.